singer of Romania's Eurovision Song Contest entry, a band called The Humans, Cristina Caramarca risked falling out of her perilously low cut frock last night. The singer was prancing around on stage ahead of her performance at the Eurovision Song Contest in Portugal in the purple frock. Whipping her hair as she performed with a team of backing dancers, Cristiano accidentally flashed her cleavage. Luckily, she protected her modesty with a pair of nipple pasties and narrowly avoided a disastrous wardrobe malfunction. She accessorized the stage-worthy attire with a few pieces of jewelry and wore a full face of makeup consisting of smoky eyeshadow, lashings of mascara and pink lip gloss. The blonde beauty who is representing Romania sang That's How You Write a Song during rehearsals for the second semi-final of the 63rd edition of the Eurovision contest at Alice Arena in Lisbon, Portugal. Cristiano was joined on stage by two guitarists and several dancers, who wore latex bodysuits with white face masks. If Cristiana is to make it to the finals of the singing contest she faces tough competition from Caesar Sampson, Austria, Elena Nekayeva, Estonia, Eleni for R, Cyprus, Levazasa Morse Kate, Lithuania, Neta Barzilai, Israel, Mikolas Joseph, Czech Republic, Equinox, Bulgaria, Eugent Bushpepper, Albania, and Ryan, Ireland. In next week's final, Cyrus representative Eleni is the favorite to win this year's competition, with bookmakers slashing her odds to take the Eurovision trophy from 66 1 to 5 halves following the first semi final round. Bookmaker Bitway revealed Eleni had knocked Israel out of the top spot, with Netta's chances of winning now 11 fourths. Cyprus Eleni for as rehearsal of Fuego has got punters fired up ahead of Saturday's final and she's been backed all the way into 5 halves. Alan Algar Alan Alga. A spokesperson for Bitway, said, Cyprus Eleni for as rehearsal of Fuego has got punters fired up ahead of Saturday's final and she's been backed all the way into five halves. We've never seen a Eurovision gamble of this nature before and can only expect that for R is the name on everyone's lips in Lisbon as things stand. Anyone that managed to get a bit of money on at 66-1 looks to be sitting on a good bet. Though anything can happen on the night and long-time favourites Israel are also expected to put up a good show at 11 fourths UK entry Suri was previously tipped to triumph but her odds of winning dropped to 101. Despite the UK's poor performance in recent years, she still believes she stands a chance at winning. Telling TV Times, I know our results have fluctuated over the years. But I have a really good feeling about our chances this year. She continued, the song, Storm is such a catchy, universal, uplifting anthem and the production around it is going to be really cool. Of course we could win, why not? In 2015 and 2017 Suri provided backing vocals for Belgium on the Eurovision stage. She thinks this has given her the edge above her competitors. She explained, maybe I have the advantage of knowing what the Eurovision setup is like. When I first went out in 2015, my eyes were open to this incredible world, but it's always unfathomable how many people are going to be watching. Eurovision 2018 airs Saturday on BBC One at 8pm. <laughs>